my experience, you know, world-class sales operations uh, groups do do three things. Number one, they um, they execute what I call operational excellence. They just they run a tight ship, right? They have very strong pipeline health, uh, forecast accuracy. You know, they just really have a good uh, control of the you know the basic uh, sales operations disciplines. But what I also see is sales operations leaders playing really a peer role with their um, other sales leaders within the organization. So the, the individuals that run the geographies or that run you know, the various you know, customer segment organizations, they really look to as someone who can drive the business, who runs the pipeline meetings, who runs you know, the forecasting calls, who runs the account planning clinics you know, on behalf of the sales organization. So really taking a proactive uh, leadership role. And then the third thing I see is really stepping up and playing a change leadership role. So actually driving the business forward, thinking about what are some of the leading indicators that um, the organization needs to measure to understand whether or not they're making progress at transforming the company. And then also driving adoption of new selling motions, new processes, new systems. Those are the types of things that I see you know, leading sales operations teams really drive across, uh, across the company.